directly above me is today's problem. And no, it's not just the fact that that's a frame oil filter. Here's the frame oil filter I mentioned before. Here's my bigger problem. Oil sending unit. Yeah, no, completely rusted off inside of it. So I've got to get that oil sending unit off of that oil filter housing adapter. Problem is it's rusted in place. It's pop metal, it's just gonna break. So I've got to take this entire housing off. It's pretty easy, it's three bolts. They're 9 16 Then we'll get this assembly on the bench and we'll take a look at it. <sighs> got it, three bolts, not a big mess. It goes right there. Okay, let's take this thing to the bench. I've got the oil filter housing chucked up in the vise. Here's the offending oil uh, sending unit, oil pressure switch, whatever you want to call it. These are pop metal and these threads are probably going to go. So what we're going to have to do is be careful and see if we can't just get it out of there without breaking it off so I don't have to use an easy out. Because while an easy out will take it out if it breaks. It's not fun. I actually do have the oil pressure switchy tool uh, that's specific for these, for most of these, not just GMs. And I'm going to see if I can't get this to move without snapping it, but I don't have high hopes. I've already had it in the car, and it was pretty much just moving on its own. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Whoop. So you can watch me snap this thing off. Uh, I'm going to work it back and forth. I'm not just going to try to pull on it. We're going to go tighten and loosen and see if we can't get this thing to go without breaking it. I'm watching the threads and I'm just, I'm not seeing movement. This is not good. Oh, okay. It moved just a little bit. It did. Here, um, to double check, what I'm going to do is I may be seeing things, so I'm going to mark it with paint and see if the whole thing actually did move. See right here? I marked with white paint on the housing adapter and on the threads of this. So now we'll see if I'm just bending this part and I thought I saw that move or if I actually saw that move. It's so exciting. Back to tighten it a little bit. All right. Loose in. You don't just want to go ripping on these because odds are you'll completely just destroy them. So I'm trying to be as gentle as I possibly can with this. Oh, a little bit at a time. Use whoever you want. I just happen to have deep creep on hand. Seafoam is generally some pretty good stuff. PB Blaster will work. Uh, Knocker Loose, whatever brand. Um, this is some Rwanda blend coffee. Really good. Get that too. So that way when you fail, at least you can fall back to great tasting coffee. Okay, loosen. Oh, but it looks like it's bending this entire pot metal piece so I'm, as I'm going, so I've got to really be careful here. And I'm not necessarily known for finesse and being careful with things. That's why I have easy outs in the first place. My grand scheme is generally to just get frustrated and break it. It seems to be actually like rotating it more up top than actually here where the threads are. And I'm afraid at some point this is just gonna snap. Sort of like when you bend a paperclip back and forth. Basically the same metal, it's crappy pop metal. But come on. But if I can get enough of the deep creep in there to loosen it without snapping anything, we may have a chance. It is definitely freer, but I've still only got about a quarter of a turn out of it. And it's definitely, the entire thing's definitely giving way. I just want it to hold together long enough. Oh, that's the farthest we've gotten so far. Let's go back, back it out. Oh, there we go. Sigh of relief. Whew. 
Okay, here's the offending piece. It actually has a terminal that snapped off and it's cracked here. It's garbage. Do I have another one? Hmm. This may be a wait till tomorrow deal if I don't have one in stock. Hmm. Wait, wait. Uh, oh. Look at that. I have a completely unknown condition used one. Is that about the same? I threw that. I shouldn't have thrown that. Not yet, anyways. All right. So here's the part that's missing on mine that I threw away. And uh, as you can see, other than that, they're pretty much identical. So I'm going to get the brass adapter off of this. That I don't know that I put that on there, but somebody did. And that's not going to help at all. You know what we haven't done with this car yet? We have not checked oil pressure. While this is out, I'll probably put the housing back on and I'll hook up a mechanical oil pressure gauge. And we'll see like, what kind of oil pressure we got. Then we'll throw this back in. All right. That sounds like a plan. Since I've already got it apart, might as well answer the question of how many oil pressures do I have? This is why you keep old parts. Sometimes they'll still be good. Plastic on this is good. Uh, metal looks good. Threads are good. And this probably ran when parked, so this ought to be all right. Keep old parts, except this broken one. I'm going to throw it again. Don't keep that. It's no good to anyone. <sighs> Mechanical oil pressure gauge. No. 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 Hmm. Oh. I was just looking for it in my drawer, and it's still on the Volkswagen engine I have sitting over there. All right, let me grab that. Tools. Nope. Yep. Uh-oh. Yep. Nope. Got it. All right. This is my spare mechanical oil pressure gauge. I don't know where I got it. I don't know how long I've had it. It still is in the packaging from the store. New in the box. Never been opened. And I've used it on several cars, just for testing purposes. Uh, and this should fit this housing. So let's get that piece of brass out of there. Let's chuck this back up. Yep. Should be same thread. Perfect. Uh, well, I'm going to wipe this off because it's disgusting. I have another rag. Where'd my... Huh. Oh. It's under the camera. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. I'll change this filter after we're done with all this stuff, but right now we're going to throw this back in the car. And where did that come from? I think this came off something else. We're going to ignore it for now. Just wipe everything down, like I was saying before I discovered that part that may or may not be to something that's on here. I don't think it is. It should be fine. Um, bolt this back up, hook my gauge up, and we'll start it and see what happens. All right, uh, you saw me take it off. You don't need to see me put it back. All right, I've got the oil line run up the side of the door between the mirror and the windowsill so we can see it from the inside. So let's go inside, start the car, and see what kind of oil pressure we get. I'm really hoping that it has what I think it has, and I think it'll have probably around 20 or 30 at idle. And it should go up from there, because if it goes down from there, well, that's bad too. I know I don't have to tell you this, but keep an eye on the oil pressure gauge right there. It's currently on zero. We're going to start it and see what we get. Well... That's a really good sign, actually. I've got 50, between 50 and 52 at idle. And I go up and I've got 60 and I'm not even really going above 2,000 RPMs. So that's really good. I'm happy with that. Whew. All right. Well, that's a relief. So broken oil pressure switch led to me actually checking the engine oil pressure. And 50 PSI at idle is a really good sign. It means the bearings aren't worn out in the engine. It might even be an actual 37,000 mile motor. That's, I guess, I mean, I guess it could be. But even if it's 137,000, have 50, 
PSI at idle, go up to 60 and still be under 2,000 RPMs, you're fine. Really what you're looking for, at least what I was taught, take this with a grain of salt, you may have been taught something different. If you have 10 PSI per 1,000 RPMs, you're perfectly fine. But it needs to go up. can't stay there. I mean, if you hit the gas and it stays around 10 PSI, you've got a problem. But rule of thumb, 10 PSI per 1,000 RPMs, and you should be good. And this was five times that. So really healthy. I like it. Uh, now all i got to do is put that new pressure switch in, and you saw where it went, and you saw how it came out. So I'm going to do that, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.